Hi, this is MA from DevHelp and welcome to my second Java Swing tutorial. This video is going to be on how to create a new Swing frame or a new window. As you see here, we're using the NetBeans editor and you can download it on www.netbeans.org slash downloads. But first, you have to download the Java development kit or the JDK and install it on your computer then you can you can install the NetBeans actually so in order to create a frame there's two ways to do it uh, the first way is to create uh, an instance from or an object from the, J, the JFrame class just like this JFrame F for example equals to new JFrame then you can use this object so F dot and the action that you want to do or the method that you want to call and the second way is to make this class actually uh, extends the JFrame class just like this do extends JFrame and I prefer to I prefer actually the second way so we're gonna go through this and and use the second way actually so we have a frame or, or a class that extends the J frame actually if we do this we, we're gonna treat this class as a J frame so we're gonna create a constructor of this class so public my frame Now we have actually a frame or a window, but without any uh, any personalizing or customizing. So we have to customize this frame. First of all, we have to to set the size of this frame, the the visibility, the title, and all this. This. So we're gonna begin with this the size of the frame. In order to do this. We just have to to call the set size method. This method takes two parameters. The first one is the width. So, actually, in our in our uh, example, we're gonna create a frame of, uh, for example, three hundred pixels width and two hundred fifty pixels height. The second thing to do is to set the title of the the title of the frame. That title is the actually the text that we want to appear here. So the title this method set title takes a string object one that we want to appear here above. So we're gonna the text that we want to write here. For example, my first frame actually my first frame not my first frame so the title of this frame is my first frame now we set the size the title then we're gonna set something called default close operation this default close operation is this is all about what's gonna happen if I close the window so is the program have to 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 sit to keep running or to stop so this method takes a parameter call there is four actually four parameters to write here there's the first one is do nothing on close and it's actually clear it's not have I don't have to explain this do nothing on close if I close the window nothing's gonna happen but actually I want to use exit on close so if I close the window the program is gonna stop so actually now we set the size side or under default close operation there's just one thing to do is to set the visibility of this frame 
you know, do this. We use the sit visible method, and it takes a boolean as a parameter. This boolean we, we're gonna write through, so we we tell the the compilator that we want to appear our frame. So the visibility of our frame is gonna be true. Okay. Now we're gonna test this. We need a a main method here, public static void main. Now string actually main string table. So we're gonna call it a. So here we're gonna just create a fret or an object from this class. So new my frame. Then we're gonna run this and test it. So run file. Here we are. There is a frame here, and the title is my first frame. And this frame has a dimension of 300 in the width and 250 in the height and uh, as you noticed here or as you see here the window appeared at the top of at the upper left corner of the screen because we didn't set the location of, of this frame so we're gonna fix that we're gonna use a set method it's a method called set location this method takes two parameters, actually two integers. The first one is the x. So it begins from here. This is the x and this is the y. So the x, if for example we want to appear the window here, we're gonna take actually, I guess, 200 or 150 x and actually also 150y so 150 and 150 uh, the visibility is so it's going to be the last thing to do and we're going to test this so we're going to rerun the project or rerun the file so as you see the frame located here So these are the basic methods that we can use in order to create and personalize our frames. Of course, these are not all the JFrame methods. These, there's more, more methods that I left you guys to test them. But for now, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out our next tutorial. It's going to be on how to make this frame appear at the center, or at the center of the screen. So thanks again, don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next tutorial.